Hello guys, in this video I would like to show you the newest Color Slice tool in DaVinci Resolve 19. Color Slice is a brand new tool and it's designed to help you achieve richer and more dense colors. So let me show you how it works with this Ari Alexa clip that have been already color managed. These are my settings. I keep it very simple for this tutorial and if you want to learn an in-depth color management in DaVinci Resolve, please join my color grading course. You can find a link to it below this video. And I have also already performed a basic color correction on the first note. This is before and after. So we can move to our color slice tool. This tool is divided into seven different areas. red skin, yellow, green, cyan, blue and magenta. These color wheels represent which part of the color wheel each tool will affect. This slice basically indicates it. And then we can see an additional bar in the middle of each slice. And this is because color slice gives a soft roll off. So it means that the tool will have the most effect in the middle and the least effect at the edge of the slice. We can also preview what part of the clip each control is affecting by holding this preview button over here. So this is red, then skin, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. But this preview works only when we hold it. But we can use our highlight control over here as well to be able to see the selection. And first we have here a center control that allows us to refine our selection within the slice, like this. So in this case, when I push this control to the right, I am selecting more hues of the skin. So I will leave it like this. Then we have a hue control that basically allows us to manipulate the hue of our selection. So let's turn the highlight mode off to be able to see better our clip. And let's play around with the hue slider. I obviously want to keep skin tones natural, so I'll leave it here. Then underneath it, we have a density control. And this control adds more color density to the selection by darkening the image. And what's important, this tool has the greatest effect on the most saturated colors that gives a very natural effect. So when we push it up, the selection gets more dense and darker. And when we push it down, it gets lighter and less dense. I will leave it here. And then we have the saturation control that adds more or less saturation to our selection, like this. And now let's maybe move to the blue part of the clip. So we will use the blue control over here. I will turn my highlight on again, and then I will refine the selection. Okay, and now I will shift the hue a bit. I want to add more of the teal color into this blue to make it look more interesting. Like this. And this is our before and after so far. And now I can also make it look lighter or darker using the density tool over here. I will make it darker as I don't want it to dominate the clip. And then we can also manipulate the saturation again. I don't want to have it overly saturated. So I will leave it here. And now at the top, we also have a few global controls that allow to refine the whole clip. So first, we have the density slider that allows us to adjust the density of our clip uniformly, like this. Then we have a density depth slider that allows us to limit or increase the effect of the density slider on the brighter parts of the image. This is how it works. It's a very advanced control. Then we have a global saturation slider that allows us to adjust the saturation of the whole clip. Then we have the saturation balance slider 
that can help us to balance the saturation of our adjustments a bit. Then we have the saturation depth slider that again allows us to limit or increase the effect of the saturation on the brighter parts of the image. And at the end we have the hue slider that allows us to change the hue of the adjustments uniformly. And this is our before and after. I do really love this tool so far and I hope you have a lot of fun discovering how it works on your own and if you are new to DaVinci Resolve and color grading, take a look at my comprehensive color grading course. You can find a link to it below this video. See you on the next one.